banana splits. Brought to you by Kellogg's. Kellogg's puts more in your morning. More nourishment. More flavor. More fun. <laughs> Adventure Hour, starring the Arabian Nights, Danger Island, The Three Musketeers, and The Banana Split. <laughs> And here come the banana splits! The Banana Splits Club will now come to order. And the first business is, where's my gavel? Your what, Blake? <laughs> gavel, gavel, gavel. It should be here on my desk. Oh, that. Well, you see, one week you hit your finger with it, and another time you broke your desk with it. So we thought we'd better hide it. Well, honey, you can give it right back. This instant. Are you sure you won't hurt yourself, please? No, I'm positive I won't hurt myself. How about your desk? I won't hurt the desk either. Now, give me my gavel. Well, okay, Flea. Here. Thank you, Bingo. And now, just to show that I'm very careful, I'm going to tap on this little rubber sponge so I won't hurt nothing. That's a double inch! <laughs> And now, before we go on with the meeting, I have a surprise for you all. Cooper, open the door. I never know which potato. Said I ate a tomato because if I ate a potato, I don't want to be being a potato if I get you. Well, tell him, silly. Yes, tell us, silly. Silly, Nelly, it's those dillies. La, 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 la. Those dilly sisters are something else, aren't they? <laughs> it's the Arabian Nights, Nick. My master, the Sultan of Darkness, demands tribute. You tell your master, Abaddon, I refuse. Foolish one. You shall lose your city. I will never pay tribute to the evil sultan. The caliph shall pay dearly for refusing my request. With the power of my magic amulet, I shall make the city of Kilibad disappear. Ek mek rada saba! My city, it has vanished. 
He will pay soon enough. I wonder why the Caliph of Kilabad wanted us so urgently. We will soon know. Kilabad is just around the bend. Fortunate for us that Fez can change himself into an elephant. Even little Zazum gets a free ride. <coughs> Greetings, Caliph. Why are you alone in the desert? I refuse to pay tribute. But your city of Kilabad, where is it? Abaddon, the Sultan of Darkness, has caused it to vanish. An entire city? We shall seek out this Sultan and see that your city is returned. The Caliph said it is safest to enter Abaddon's kingdom by the secret way. Crocodile, big one. I shall give them a ride. They will never forget. Proceed, watch out! Rapids ahead! Hella Flotar! That's fast magic, Farik. It is time to bring those Arabian Nights down to Earth. We've been hit! I have never fished from the sky before. <laughs> Finish the rope trick, Farik. Rising season. <laughs> They call this the Kingdom of Darkness. Abaddon needs it to work his magic. Guards, are you ready? Yes, Master. The boulder, look out. I will get it. Sorry about the boat, Turhan. There's no escape! We're trapped! No use wasting this run! Hey, Rockslide! We cut off from the others! Guards! Surround them! Now escape if you can! The others have gotten away, but they'll be easy to find. I shall not keep you in suspense any longer. Every swing of the pendulum brings you closer to doom. Quite a fiendish trick Abaddon's got there. I'd rather not look. Shh! Cards are coming. I have a plan. Rosanne Papar! Over here! 
Here. Over here. Here. No, over here. No, no, no. Over here. This way. No, that way. Here. Here. <laughs> Now to catch up to our friends. Gaba, Baba, Abu Zaba! Thanks, Farik. You saved us from a rocky landing. But where is little Zazum? Why do we seek the donkey? It is Abaddon's orders. Oma, look, over there! Right with the rope! You will stay put. For such a little one, he kicks very hard. There he goes! Stop him! Zoom. Why were you chasing our donkey? Abaddon told us to capture him. You hear that, knights? Abaddon wants a donkey. And donkeys we shall give him. You will never get to Abaddon. See, the walls are too steep. No one can climb them. What say you to that, Bez? Size of an eagle. Soon I shall defeat the Arabian Nights. <coughs> the donkey. <coughs> another one. <coughs> and another. <coughs> no, no, no. <coughs> donkeys, donkeys everywhere. I'll drive them away with my amulet. Look, Razim, a magic amulet. It's time to let a little light into Abaddon's life. No, no, light will destroy the amulet's power. Far enough, oh powerless sultan. Look, Abaddon, there are your donkeys. By now, all your evil deeds should be undone. Arabian Nights, what can I do to repay you for restoring my city? Perhaps we could borrow one of your carpets for our journey home. I shall deem it a privilege. Choose any or all. A large one will do. Granted. Now tell me, how did this gentle little donkey help you? Well, it's a long tale, and it all began with his tail. This tail? No, no, don't touch his tail! <laughs> I see what you mean. That is quite a tale. <laughs> hey, what time is it, Cuckoo? It's either 25 minutes past 5 or 5 minutes past 25. <laughs>
We'll be back in a minute for more fun and surprises.
Uh-oh, Chongo! It's Danger Island next! Last week, as you remember, it wasn't long after Link was rescued from the river that our group was attacked by the skeleton men. Managing to fight them off, they find safety in a deserted village, but only briefly, as they are suddenly surrounded by Mutan and his pirate crew. Why didn't he just kill us and get it over with? And miss his kicks. Not you, Tom. Well, this one over here. We had our chance to get away and we muffed it. I'm sorry. Oh, that's not your fault. It's not anybody's fault. Now, Mutan wants to find Tabanya too much. We'll have other chances. Wait and see. Daddy, he's got the map. That's what I'm counting on. He has nobody to read it. <laughs> Sleeping! Cash No, Come on, Doctor. Where are we going? I have to speak with you. Where are you taking him? No, I'll be all right. Don't worry, all right. My dear Doctor. No, it's too much shining here. Let's go into the water. Please, my dear Doctor. Come in, doctor. Come in, sir. Uh, uh, please come in. Uh, uh, sit down, sit down, sit down. Please, come on. Thank you. Sit down, sit down, sit down. No, 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 no. Now, there. Are you comfortable, doctor? Oh, yes. <sighs> Uh, you know, Doctor, I, uh, I have been, uh, thinking. You thinking? <laughs> mm, yes, uh, and I think it's, uh, silly for us to be enemies. There's no reason. Oh, yes, I can think of some pretty good reasons. Uh, <laughs> I always said that you were a very funny fellow. But, uh, we don't got the time, Doctor. Uh, see, now is, uh, business. Uh, you see, you, uh, uh, you read this for Mutan, right? Eh? Maybe. No, 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 maybe. You read it, or else you never read again nothing. Oh, well, no, excuse me, uh, I didn't mean it. Uh, uh -huh. uh, well, suppose I do read this for you. What happens then? Oh, I forgive. We find to Banya, we go back to the ship, everybody's free like bags. How do I know you'll set us free? Well... Well, uh, Mutan's word. <laughs> Your word? I'm sorry, Mutan, it's not good enough. Uh, a very good doctor it has to be very good enough. You can only kill us once, Mutan. Yes, I can only kill once, but you go last. You'll watch them all go first. And there are many, many different ways to kill. Well, uh, why are we talking about killing? Uh, we find Tubanya, we have money, we are rich. You are rich, you live rich, I'm rich, I live rich, okay? But just a little. Chango. American football, extra point, coconuts, huh? Good for my time, looking to get it to the link. Oh.
Let's go. Now pay attention, this is a very critical part. You come out of the west, Mutan, and yeah. you go along this point, and you get to this point here, where this X is. Now, this is 200 yards more. You have to go 200 yards east from this point. If you're facing north. Ah, I understand you. Now say that. And then uh, if you're facing north, you have to go 200 yards more, more, more what? More east. 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 If you're facing north. Yes, sir. Yes, and if you're coming out of the west, but if you're uh -huh. facing south, then you're actually going 200 yards to the west. Say that. If you're coming south, you're walking 200. Yeah. No, no, no. That's if you're if you're, if you're facing south, then you're going 200 more yards to the west. But if you're facing north, you're going 200 more yards to the east, to this point. You know, doctor. After all what you have said, I understand nothing. <laughs> Jungle. Jungle. Excuse me. And then you get to this spot, and you go 200 more yards to the east. If you're facing north, now say that after me.
next week's exciting episode of Danger Island. Hold the bus. Hold the bus. Hold the bus. <laughs> Hold the bus. Hold the bus. <laughs> And now it's riddle time. What is long and yellow and right underwater? A ballpoint banana. <laughs> we'll be back right after station identification. Like we promised, we came back. Stay tuned for more of the Banana Splits brought to you by Kellogg's. You get more from Kellogg's. More nourishment, flavor, fun. And more of us coming right up.
Here's Flegel, your banana splits reporter with the latest news. Lloyd Ledfester found it tough sledding yesterday. When asked why he had such tough sledding, Mr. Ledfester said, I'm not sure, but maybe it was because there wasn't any snow. <laughs> 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 What's the secret password, Trooper? The secret password for this week is Yabba Dabba Doo. Yabba Dabba Doo. Rock it to me. <laughs> A triple ooch. <laughs> when did he join the banana splits? Oh, well, <laughs> Boy, am I glad that Ogre's in a good mood today. Yes, indeed. He's been so good, I'm giving him a new mattress. There you are, Ogre. You left something nice and soft to nap on. <laughs> Boy, we sure have a smart puppy. Yes, indeed. At least he ate the soft part and threw the springs away. And now, here are the three musketeers! Now, Diablo, this is the test. Below is your target. Remember how the young prince dresses. Go, bring him to me. <coughs> well done, Diablo. Excellent. With the prince, my captive, the king will do whatever I command. <coughs> Take that, and that, and 
that. How am I doing, Your Highness? There's no doubt about it, Tuli. Someday, you will be a musketeer just like D'Artagnan. Thank you very much. I hope so. I wish I could be a musketeer. But you cannot. You are the prince. <sighs> I know. But if you would lend me your musketeer outfit, I could pretend for a while. Sure, why not? Now I am a musketeer. And I am a prince. Hey! Hey, put me down. Tuli. I must tell D'Artagnan. And then the falcon swooped up and carried Tuli off toward the mountains. A giant falcon. The royal court falconer, banished for plotting against the crown. But why would he have ducked Tuli? Doubtless, he had planned to seize the prince. Ah, and the boy's exchange of clothing fooled him. Come, musketeers, we ride. You are not the prince. Who said I was? Diablo, you have bungled. <laughs> Someone is coming? Ah! I'll bet it's the musketeers. Ah! They are our enemies. You know what to do. Falconer, I suspect. Their claws are like razors. Create a distraction. I see a way out. One powder horn distraction coming up. We are safe here. At least until that crow spies us. Get out. It's a stalemate. Not at all, gentlemen. Each of you down one of these bushel baskets. Bushel baskets? Then what? Then we let our feathered friends in. Well done, Athos. Now, on to the falconer's lair. I guess the falconer will be expecting us. <coughs> Struggling is useless. You are well tied, my little friend. trapped my birds? Well, I have traps to take care of them. Oh, yeah? The musketeers will take care of you. Indeed. And if you try to escape, here is one to take care of you. Tor! Guard him well. You're 
myself. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> yes, I see. Closer. Come closer, musketeers. Just a little closer. Careful, gentlemen. Things are a little too quiet, but not for long. <laughs> this passage leads to the falconer's lair i hope follow me the nice doggy escape us. Quite the contrary, musketeers. Permit me, gentlemen. What are they up to? your musketeers at bay. Musketeers, catch! No, my birds. They are driving them off. Diablo! Diablo! What do you know? I guess birds of a feather really do flock together. Personally, if I never see another bird, it'll be too soon. <laughs> and now it's time for Dear Drooper. Listen to this one. Dear Drooper, today our science teacher told us that light from the sun travels 186,000 miles a second. Isn't that a fantastic speed? Signed, Amazed. Dear Amazed, that's not as fast as it sounds. Don't forget, it's downhill all the way.
We'll be back in a minute for more fun and surprises. Hey, what time is it, Cuckoo? It must be time for lunch. I'm starving. <laughs> Adam had him troubles with his baby. Even Adam had the trouble too. Could I borrow a color cleanup? <laughs> now, before we adjourn, Grouper, we gotta be sure the sour grape sponge isn't around. Down, banana scope. <laughs> All right, first mate, take it away. Wait until I focus my good eye. Let me have it. Sisters are getting better all the time. La 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 la
Hey, gang, next week we're going to show you something new. It's called Micro Adventure. Don't miss it. Tra -la -la. Living like a pancake, popping like a corn. Living.